What's going on, world? I go by the name of Chris. I'm Kanisha. I'm Arian. Tony. It's Rebecca. It's your boy Terry. And we are the, the Skinners. Skinners. The, the Protos. Protos. And we are the, the A-Team. A -team. And this is... And this is... And this is the Marriage Plug. The Marriage Plug. The Marriage Plug. It's a fairy tale, but the same whole day. What's up, guys? This is another episode of TMP, The Marriage Plug. What's going on, everybody? How y'all doing? Smash that like button. Smash that like button. Beep, 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 beep. Good job, Rebecca. <laughs> that was great. She was live. Listen, all right, well, I might as well introduce the Skinners, you know what I'm saying, a.k.a. the DJ, a.k.a. the sound effects, all the way from Kansas City. What's up, Skinners? How y'all doing over there? Uh, T.I., I mean, uh, Terry, do the T.I. hat band. What's the word of the day? Expeditious. <laughs> <laughs> and then all the way from Natown, who's town, H-Town. What's up to the Protos down there in Houston, Texas? What's good, y'all? Oh, look like a suburban, urban family from yeah, Indiana. Look like from Indiana. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I look like, y'all say, yay! <laughs> what? Yankee so, yeah, yeah, do. There you go. <laughs> Well, oh shout out, shout out to, to, to Indiana. Y'all rep in Indiana heavy today. Is it like sports or something going on? No, nah, it's comfortable season. You know, it's yeah. like 65 degrees outside H town. That's cold. Mm. So uh, that's cold. we just want to be comfortable. Yeah. You know, pajama, pajama pants. And, it was yeah. snowing yesterday in Kansas City. Let's be clear. <laughs> Well, if nah, you know, it's beautiful, you yeah, know, what is that? as beautiful as this podcast is going to be. So this month we are talking <laughs> about friends and family values. OK, <laughs> so friends and family values. Now, this can this can get a little bit tricky because I was raised with my family with our values and you were raised with your family with your values. So were you all. And sometimes when y'all raise together and y'all make a family and bring those separate values in it can create a little bit of friction uh and you know that exists so so let's get into today's topic what you got for us, mrs Aaron? so today's topic wait a minute is... where's the a team hey guys go ahead babe what you got for it <laughs> so today's topic <laughs> is friction while in family or friction over family and it's this whole debate going around as far as um women like do you always confide in your you know your family when things go wrong or men is your mama always first so this whole debate has been circulating or so tmp we decided to bring the debate to you um so with that being said ladies i have a question for you and men i have a question for you we're gonna get ours right so the first question I want to ask you guys, ladies, is blood thicker than water? And the same question goes for the men. So who wants to start, men or women? Ladies first. With your position. Ladies first. Ooh, ladies first. Ladies first. <laughs> well, <clears throat> go ahead, sis. No, no, no. You had it. You was ready. Go ahead. <laughs> um so i will say that maybe this may not be the most popular answer but i do believe that family comes first um i know you know we say you know blood is thicker than water you know i agree with that i do understand though that when you get married you know and have your own family that is supposed to be your family right um but i believe family comes first i mean they they raised you um they've known you again since birth so most likely, you know, nine times out of 10, they are going to have your best interests at heart. You know, even if they may say something that you may not agree with, um, usually it's because they, they love you, genuinely love you, their family, um, and they just want to see you be successful. They want to see you do good. So I, I don't know. In my mind, I think family comes first. Since you know what? I agree with that because I'm like, okay, who am I to allow like my parents to suck, to struggle? If I got it, I'm going to make sure that my parents have it too. And so that's how I feel about it. I feel like, you know, man, it, it may be tight over here for a little bit, 
And I think we'll still be okay. But I think if I there's an extra little twenty dollars I need to send, I'm gonna send it because that's my family. I don't know. That's how I feel. So they talking about finances and like oh, okay. I think I think the question was in general, but I am flabbergasted. Bruh. <laughs> That both, I mean, both y'all, and then she brought the money into it, which is a whole different topic. So traditionally, <laughs> traditionally, you know, me and Rebecca, we we find we we make our peace. You know, we are, we agree, we end up agreeing. But Kanisha, you know, we just like to argue with each other. So I think that, you know, I think I, I disagree, especially with both y'all. But you know, just I think to talk about KP's point, I think that sometimes. <laughs> Just still look. I think sometimes <laughs> <laughs> what you gonna say. I think sometimes right. Your I think your family leaves you at a place that they remember you most. So I think that it's not mm -hmm. beneficial for your family to be like the first and last that you go to, or you know what I'm saying, like the most important people. Because like I was watching a uh, show today and the person was saying how like I still see you as a child. So if they see you as a child, but then you're married and absolutely not a child, when you come and you got something that you feel like need to be resolved, they don't give you answers and, and, and treat you like a child when you got to go back and resolve that with your grown AZZ mm -hmm. spouse, husband in this case. So I disagree with that. Yeah, I totally disagree too. Because once we get up to the altar, I didn't marry them. Woo! I, married, I married you. So... I mean, it, you know, even if, even if you did give a little money, it's like still out of respect. It should at least come to us and be like, hey, you know, I'm considering if you don't want to ask like, hey, can I do it? At least be like, hey, I'm considering giving my my parents $20. Just, you know, hey, this this our domain. This our kingdom. You trying to build it too. Go ahead, sis, because I was going to really read him. So, um... <laughs> So I'll let Rebecca chime in for Tony, but just in general, <laughs> so in general, for me, and I would like to think that a lot of parents are this way, like for, for me, my parents are very supportive. They do not butt into my marriage at all. So if they don't butt into my marriage, why would I think that they have any type of ill will or they, they're still just seeing me as like a child? If they saw me as a child, they will continuously butt into my marriage, which they don't. So I feel like when my parents do finally have something to say, like, I think it's going to be like from a pure place or a place where they actually had a point to, you know, they observe, hold on, they right. observe what was going on and they don't believe that it is in my best interest for that specific situation. And what parent that loved your child would actually do that? Mm -hmm. Right. And you know what? I'm not even going to fool, fool my bro, Tony, on his part about asking but um, because I'm grown. But my sister, as far as like, um, you, your parents or whomever that is gonna share you that advice, especially when they don't buddy and when they say something, you know, like those people, like they're they're a person of small words and brief words, but when they say something, it hit. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you right now, if if okay. for some of the things that my mama told me not to do, you know what I'm saying? You know you would have been ready to fight somebody. So I think my mother gives great advice. Uh, I just want to jump in real quick. What the fuck was there? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> First off, $20 if it's your money is my money. So we have to come to a conversation before I give anybody Do you money. do that? Yeah. Yeah, I do. But also, like Tony said, we married y'all, y'all married us. You know how long I saved up for that ring to put on your <laughs> ring? Oh, that was gonna work. Yeah. You out here grinding to put that. Out. <coughs> hey, you know how many times I had to stop at K's, check on it, and be like, you know what? Let me put, still there. Let me put some more down on it. Is it still there? You know what I'm saying? Let me see it. Yeah, I, I ain't buy that ring for your family. I bought that ring for you. Yes, but that means that I'm saying. I still want to take care of my family because they be taking care of me. Of course, but that's still something that we still talk about together and not just be like, all right. Now, I understand if it's an emergency, yeah, but you be like, oh, man, uh, somebody that keep on asking for the same money, like, no, I forgot to pay the light bill. 
today. I need to see like twenty dollars. Like, so you gonna let them be cold and in the dark? And if they it. keep on forgetting to pay the light bill, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get your own your own testimonies out no. to the Lord. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> KP, what you got for us? All I got to say is, look, this comment about to shut it all down, okay? If this marriage don't work out, who going to be there? Whoa! You I'm are, done. Boo. Thank you. Hey. Thank you. So, <laughs> some of them want you to be lonely. Why y'all saying thank you? Some of, some, of your, <laughs> some of your family like, hey, come on over here with me and be lonely. Right, yeah. Yep. Be you been a great resource. You've been yep. providing for us for a long time. Come on back home. All I gotta Come say on. is, I, and I, and I, and I want to. Worst case scenario, my family will always be there. And I. And the thing is this: I agree. Your family, who is Tony's family, Rebecca's family, who is Terry's family, Arian family, who is my family, and all of us reverse that same thing. We'll always be there for us. It's it's people in my family who say that if you leave her, we still rocking with her. Right. So but but aside from that, I think we're doing something that is is it, it can create a one sided conversation for what we're talking about abroad. And we're talking about you all are specifically mentioning parents and they're a part of a family, but they're not the only family. So, you know, when the guys answer holistically and purely, you know, we're talking about not just your parents, but, you know, as Tony and Terry alluded to, just to present the facts to you all, they alluded to, they didn't say, I didn't marry you and your parents. We're not saying that because we love y'all mom and y'all daddies and them. We love yep. them, right? I, yep. I don't spoil rotten with my in-laws. I don't even call them that. Like, that's, this, you know, for me, for, for me, I don't like calling them that. But we're talking about your crazy cousins, your sister and your brother, and all of them. We talking about them too, right? And so it's what we're saying is we're not married to them abroad. We're married to y'all. Put some respect on our name. Uh, understandable, but again, if, okay, so you yeah, brought, but. Not, again, but when you bring <laughs> other cousins, you know what I mean, into the picture and, you know, siblings, like brothers and sisters, they may, for me, they may not have a lot to say about the relationship, but if something goes down between me and Chris, whose back are they going to have mine? Right. After, you know, if something happened where, you know, we split. The bar rock they, me. Okay. Yeah, right. He liked to think that, but that ain't the case. So, I mean, <laughs> I mean, y'all got anything, anything else? I mean, I feel like it's pretty cut and dry. It's pretty self-explanatory, <laughs> right? Your family was here before then, they're going to be here after then. Yeah. But but listen to that. If get to that point. Listen to that mentality though. No. <laughs> and I think that again, I think that's where that's where the fellas are are united in that sense. We're not. We didn't enter the relationship thinking worst case scenario I can go back to my family. We entered yeah. the scenario like yo, we gonna ride this bad boy and the wheels don't fall off. But see, but we didn't. But we're not saying that either. The women aren't saying that either. Say that. Is that one person support? We're gonna support our family, period. Because I just, I, I just could not live with myself, my family out here struggling, and I can't help them and support them. It's, especially if some ish go down with my sisters, man. Please, it's on and popping. And I know sometimes people may that might put me in danger, but that's in my mind. I just want to go and fight for them too. Cause that's my family, that's my blood. So, but that's what I'm saying. Like, right, you're always gonna have your family's back because they're always gonna have yours, regardless of you're married or not or what's going on. They're always gonna have your back, and you, we're gonna always have theirs. So, mm. that's our position. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Right. You like yeah, I'm just gonna say, mm, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it at that because, uh, mm. like I said, we married y'all, not y'all family. And if we want to have a guy into it, not directly, yeah. not directly. Yep. So, mm. all right. So, what about your side of the family? I want you to take I'm care of yourself so. at our, but you know what I mean. Man, you want us to do it the same way that y'all y'all think? I didn't say that. But that's up to you. I'm saying if we thought the same way that y'all thinking about it, then it's a problem. I didn't say that. I said you live your core values and your truth. Or or we'll be like mama's boys or something. Like let go of the let go of the nipple. Oh my god. 
Okay. So, <laughs> what's next? So, right. So, we have another question. Okay. Um, when a couple gets married, and let's just say there's a heated argument that breaks out, um, it could be over who knows what. Um, nowadays, you got social media going on, you know, who sits in front, is it the mama, is it the wife, who comes first, is it the wife, the baby, mama, the mom, you got all these other arguments, right, that go on. So let's say there is a heated argument or debate, do you tell your family about the argument or not? Man, y'all can go first, we went first last time. Do you, if it's a heated argument, do you tell your family or not, or your people or not? That's the question. <laughs> I say yes. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna say I'm gonna I'm gonna say yeah too because they're gonna need to vent. I say yeah, Arian, Arian, she, I guess she heard me. She said yes. I say yes though. Like I say yes. And I say yes because I got some, I got wisdom in my family. And I feel like if I bring it to them, they're going to be able to decipher and really help me to like kind of represent it in a, in a lot of better ways. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I agree with uh, Chris. Because like, like you said, you go to someone that probably went through what you went through and probably can break down that situation to you on how to handle it. But if y'all, okay, so if you tell them some messed up stuff and then they mad at me at the cookout. Shouldn't it be? <laughs> at the cookout? Yes. Shouldn't it be? That's usually how I go. They haven't, yeah. given, they haven't get forgiven me. They still stuck on whatever you told them. That's so uh, Man, y'all are just wrong today. Hey, I, I agree. I agree with the brothers too. Because I mean, at the end of the day though, like we already got so much tension. So it's like, I need to vent. And like you said, if, if I can't, like, I might not tell my dad at the time, but I might tell, like, a first cousin or something like that. Like, hey, man, she tripping. Let me tell you what she did. I need somebody to at least listen to me because at the time, y'all probably not even listening. Can't tell you what. Right. They say, I mean, y'all know how y'all get when she, once y'all in the argument. What you mean? Y'all just now cut That's us right. off in that hole. What you mean that you just did that? <laughs> See, you just did it. <laughs> We on the same team at the end of the day, so. Oh, but 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 we we need we need like a Phil Jackson, like a, a a mellow. You know what I mean? Like like oh, what you mean? You said what you mean? And I, I and I ain't want the what you mean then. You know, because then it go. <laughs> what the heck? Oh my god! It makes sense though, right? Because men, it's so funny. Men, it's like guy code, but it's so real. Oh my God. Because oh my God. we already got a lot of built up testosterone throughout the day. So it's like, look, like after, you can release testosterone. And that's because yeah, true. But at the same time, in an argument, you know, we, we really <laughs> don't want to verbal with it. You know what I mean? So it's like, hey, like, let, let you let you do your thing. And then I'll I, I, I ride out the house real quick. I am the I am literally this is a joke. There's no way that you believe that. That's crazy. Because that's crazy. So one thing I was going to say is, although we said that we believe that blood does come first, from my perspective, I was saying when you have supportive family, they are going to come first. And not one time did I say that things that go on in our relationship supposed to be spread throughout to that family. You know what I mean? I it was the family speaking to us about what they observed or prayed about or asked us about, you know what I mean? Not us going to the family. Right. So that's two totally different things. Because, because I, I'll say this. You say, okay, say that you go tell somebody and then they go tell the other family and then they go and tell the other family and now you got a whole gang, a whole slew of girl cousins Rolling up on me at the family picnic, I'm not with it. So I feel like this, at the end of the day, we have to come to an agreement and to understand it. Because at the end of the day, who's in the marriage? You and me. Not That's you, Bubba. Such a, no, no, no. But when it comes to us having contention, we should be able to work that out together. We're not talking about who comes first as far as, because the contention is not happening. Contention happens in the in this situation and you want me to go 
and run and tell Boo Boo in them? No. Okay. I am going to come and I'm going to be like, babe, this is really what's struggling with me. This is what I need you to do. Or how do you feel? This and the third. And that's how we do it. So I can't go to my family and talk about a situation, but you can go to your family. No, but you wasn't <laughs> listening to Arian because she didn't say that. They offered the advice. No, 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 no. Arian said, we said that they offered the advice. We didn't go and ask them. They offered it unto us. Mm, that ain't what I got. May I? May, thank you, Terry. Great point. Glad you said that. And to your point, I would like to add to your point, right? What you, what, what you guys are saying is not is it there is no difference in what you all are saying if the person that i get my wisdom from is my family and i go to my family for a resolve for our relationship why can't i talk to you because you didn't listen or i don't feel comfortable with talking to you right now which is why i went to someone else and i'm coming back to you to represent this conversation and 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 the solution to it a possible solution to it so I mean, the, so so here's the here's the same energy. Here go the energy that y'all just had. If if they always got my back, then they gonna have my back when it comes to this wisdom. If they always got my back, then they gonna have my back when it comes to not gossiping. If they always in our corner and they supporting us, then they're gonna do it in this conversation as well. So that's why we go to our family to have these conversations. <laughs> Tag me. <in. laughs> so. I hear your point. However, again, we're coming from the perspective that our parents are offering their observation when something is wrong. I still oh, never... Because you, you keep saying parents, but it's family. Okay, family. Again, family, and then in my example, without me being interrupted, I still think <laughs> that my parents still offer unbiased explanations. I agree. And I feel like if they do observe or see something, then they because they are unbiased, I should be the person that be like, okay, I'll consider that because they're my family. Now, what you just said is that you go to your family for wisdom. Again, what we're saying is our family always have our back. Meaning if your family always have your back, what Rebecca mentioned at that cookout could happen. And look, listen, and even if it ain't like people wanted to jump us or get, you know, in our face about something, they still will be like, What's going on with you and which uh, with you and Chris? What what you do? What what's going on? And it's still from a perspective of they have your back. If you want somebody with wisdom, what's this whole thing floating around now called counseling that my sister KP always talk about? Go to a counselor. <laughs> get wisdom from your counselor, and that is a non biased party. Now I will prefer to go to a counselor over my parents when it comes to issues and contention. So for every single argument, we should have a counselor on speed dial. Like, hey, we figure oh, we give people call to pay you X amount no, of money because no, there's you just said, we'd like we like to have a non-biased opinion about it. So please give us your insight on, should we put the tissue roll on this way or no, that? Way? No, no, <laughs> but you, you don't feel safe. You should always feel safe with your spouse and there should be a safe space for you to tell and speak your truth. So I don't understand that. And that it, it might be something wrong in the relationship if you don't feel comfortable to speak your truth. That means that your spouse maybe hasn't set it up for you to be able to do that. And y'all got to work on that. And you do need counseling. But I think if you're sitting there talking about a point of contention amongst us, at the end of the day, we are on the same team. I don't need somebody on an opposing team or on or maybe not an opposing team, but somebody on this bench that ain't really going to get to play in the game because they're not married to him to come and give me uh tag in like no we're gonna figure out this game together all right so, if we, if, so if, if we gotta go to the therapist then they need to go to a payday loan place to get the extra twenty dollars <laughs> really man all right so <laughs> hey, so i love that word contention um i love that um random <laughs> but um <laughs> so going to your family for yeah. advice and being here for your family <laughs> is two different things, in my opinion. Um, so I agree with my sisters on this, that I would not want to go to my family if there is some heated argument or discussion. Because for one, you know, I don't know what kind of perspective or spin my family. We're not just talking about parents. We're talking about families, right? Because most likely I'd probably go to my cousin anyway, you know, over my mom or my dad because there's an argument or something as close 
as I am to my parents at all. I mean, we're in a group chat. We text every day, talk every day. But even then and still, I probably would go to another family member, you know, over something like that. But like I said, I don't know what kind of perspective or spin that they're going to feed me with, if that makes sense. You know, so I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just not with that. I would rather, you know, like my sister Arian said, I would rather go to a counselor before going to a family member about an issue or an argument that me and my husband have. Because at the end of the day, I do agree with the fellas when you say it, you know, we went to the altar together, us two, not us and the whole family. So when we have marital issues, that needs to be worked out between amongst us two, okay? Or a neutral third party, a counselor, or even a pastor. Mm -hmm. I ain't for telling the whole family I did this. So am I, am I a starter or am I coming off the bench? What? Because at this point- <laughs> Can you stop with the basketball analogy? Hey, shout out to- My um, goodness. Uh, why did I get married when Mike became a sports analyst? That's why I'm getting this stuff wrong. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, all right, for instance, you said- um, you agree with us, you married us at the altar, but then it's family over us. Which one is it? Like, am I in the game? Like, are you putting me in the game? And then, all right, get on the bench real quick. I need you to rest. What you doing? What? Be quiet. Be quiet. Man, it, was, it just really seemed convenient. It seemed really convenient for you, you know? Yeah, and it's confusing. So add that to one of your favorite C words, KP. Convenient. But <laughs> uh, uh, you ain't gonna play her. But, <laughs> but one one of the things that I do want to capture for this question is heated argument. Yeah. Thank that. you. Well, no. Thank you. For this. Yes. Yes. Can Thank you. Say that. And then you're talking about which way should the the toilet paper go, under or over? That is not a heated <laughs> argument. <That's> just... Not true. <laughs> No, it's something I'm not gonna waste air and energy about. It's uh, not a yeah. point of contention. Uh, debatable. Contention. contention. It's a contention. He don't contention. even put it. If we gonna keep it honest, that it don't even be on the thing to put it on there. So first of all, first of all, you're <laughs> telling me on there. You just put tell, it on there. You're telling <laughs> y'all business to us, and I think you guys should talk about it one on one. Oh, what? Again, oh, about this. Here we go. Convenient. Here we go. <laughs> you real petty right now. <laughs> Boom, convenient. <laughs> All right, sorry. All right, Terry, 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 Terry are you about to say something, bro? This is enough. 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 Doggone it. Was Terry about to say something? The women won again. You was going to say something? <laughs> he said, no. Oh, he leaned. You leaned forward. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> the women won that debate again. All right. So let's be, let's be honest. Just because you said don't mean <laughs> that's what it was. <laughs> ah, you're confusing motion with progress. Just because you say y'all won don't mean no, y'all won that debate. No. Okay. Y'all were louder though. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> A little more sass and neck turn. You know. Haters, man. Haters no hate. So let's keep it real now. <laughs> what we've shared. Not may not necessarily be one hundred percent accurate on the real way we feel. Not at all. I just wanted to be, you know, devil's advocate for the sake of debate. Let's have this conversation, right? Um, and so let's keep it real. Now let's tell our truth. Is it family first, or is it our significant other? What say you? What is your real truth? Significant um, other, yeah, most definitely, <laughs> without a doubt. Yes, we were the ladies were definitely with the men on that. This is my baby. This is my husband, y'all. Hey, y'all know good and well. I ain't about to go to my family about no heated debate. <laughs> <laughs> what you say? I I'm not about to go to my family about no heated debate that me and my wife can have. Like, I wouldn't either. No, Tony. So speaking of heated debate, this is a real. 100% real life story. We went home to Indiana for, I think it was Christmas, one of the holidays. And me and Chris literally started arguing, like not just like cute arguing back and forth. We literally was arguing. I can't even remember what. And I, I asked my dad, I was like, daddy, what do you think? When I say this man glared at me and looked like he was gonna whoop me at that moment, he was like, 
<laughs> and then he got up and walked away. Like, don't put me in that ish. Like, that's exactly oh, how he looked at me. And I think, <laughs> again, my truth is I'm going to put my husband first. But that is, for me, why I still think that, you know, blood is going to have your best interest, although I'm not going to put them first because I married my mm -hmm. husband and now he's my family. But that look alone told me that he was like, uh-uh, your business is your business. Right. And you keep your business to yourself at that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and granted, and granted, like we all love our families. Like if it really was a real situation, there's no doubt about it. Like, you know, I have three sisters and my dad, I'll do anything for them, but I still come to my wife. I'm not, you know what I mean? We still a team. So I like to yeah. at least approach it, approach it that way. Go ahead, babe. Yeah, that's the same with, with me as well. Somebody needed, I'll probably been getting $20 before we even asked. <laughs> I say about the twenty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, so is the family first and not me? You <laughs> stand for your family as far as like. Oh, like me saying, "Oh, I'm finna give twenty dollars." Like, yeah. nah, no, that way I would have a conversation with my husband. Now, granted, you just told on yourself with doing that. <laughs> saying, he was saying he would get a twenty dollars to your family without asking first. That yeah. what you just said? Yeah. Oh, I thought okay. Thank I thought you meant your family, bro. It's all right. Bro. I thought you meant your family. Like I you would be the I one to give family. twenty dollars to your family. Yeah, your family. I'm sorry. <laughs> Me and Chris is here. Okay. <laughs> His he own family too. too. It's all right. and it, the whole thing about my house might be a little tight for a little bit to help. Uh, mm -mm. <laughs> I'm gonna take care of this house. Not gonna in my husband. I'm sorry, Chris. You're just gonna say something. Oh, no, I was just going to do a brief highlight on how, again, the guys have just done a phenomenal job of listening, responding. You know, I think that the synchrony is really there. Sorry. It's okay. The fellas understood again synchrony, you know. We're oh, another good, another good C word. And yes. But yeah, so guys, I mean, Terry spoke his truth. Chris, I mean, you brought that in there like this is our truth moment Chris, yeah tony I mean, I'm, I'm undefeated on my on my statements i meant everything i said <laughs> tony yeah I, I i mean like i said i i mean my wife is my first and so um when it comes to my family like they all know they can still come to me but i still like to come to my wife before anything like i love my family if they was in a dire need of course no yeah. doubt about it i'm there for them yeah. um but at the end of the day, like we said earlier, I married her. And I wouldn't let a family member or anybody disrespect her either. Though. You know what I'm saying? Because as soon as you let that slide in too, it can be a, a horrible situation too. Because now they're going to be looking at you as the man or as a woman. Like, dang, like he, they really don't, you know, I can't believe they allow me to even say that. So, you know, sometimes we got to check them too and let them know like, hey, this is my family as well. If you don't respect them, you don't respect me too. Yeah. No, our family is like really extremely <coughs> um, close. It doesn't even feel like yeah. in laws, you know? They come to Shout each other. Shout out to the Ferguson's and the Protos. Shout man. out, man. I love y'all, man. That's <laughs> real. That's why y'all wear the Indian shirts. Or shout out to back at home. Yeah. I agree. It's definitely all love and family. I would say, you know, that's word for my, for my, for my folks who are believers out there, that's word, man. A man or a woman leaves their family and cleaves to their wife or cleaves to their husband. And so that's, that, that's something that we have to honor, beloved. Who else, whoever's in the family, when, you're, when your family member gets married, you've got to honor that. You've got to honor that covenant. you got to honor that relationship, for sure. Nobody said agree. you got to honor it. Um, I think just yeah, to... Just to uh, just to add to what Tony Ooh, that said, <laughs> that's <a> bar. Yes, <laughs> um, I think that uh, I I agree. I, I think for me, you know, and I guess this is maybe some single people advice for me, especially for the fellow or whoever's going to propose because uh, women propose to. I I knew that the hardest task for Arian was going to be me choosing consciously to put her above my grandmother and my sisters, I got a lot of sisters. 
And when I was like, you said that was your thought. Yeah, and like okay. that was my thought. My thought was like before I proposed was okay. You're gonna propose, so really the statement you're making is that Erin is gonna she's gonna jump the line, and of all the people she's gonna jump the line through, not you know all of my sisters, and my grandmother, and it was like, woo. You know what I'm saying? My grandma delayed the proposal a little bit. It was like, I, I got to make sure that I'm in the right space if it ever happened, that I will be able to, you see what I'm saying, put put her first. And, and so I think that that's something, you know, while you're going through that phase and you kind of get to them, you know, them final chapters, like, man, can I really see myself, you know what I'm saying, like everybody was saying, can I really see myself putting this spouse first? Or if you're in a relationship, you know, could I put this person before whoever your favorite person in your family is? Mm -hmm. Um, and, and you know, it's, it's, you, maybe you all can speak to it, but family, again, family is children. So, you know, what does it look like to put your spouse before your child? Maybe one of y'all or both of you, all of y'all can elaborate and maybe, you know, touch on that. Um, yeah, I agree with that. The spouse definitely comes before the child. I mean, <laughs> At they, I love it. I mean, because it is what it is. I mean, as much as Tony and I love our daughter, as much as we love our baby girl, our, your spouse comes first. Oh, I guess my spouse doesn't agree with that. But the spouse comes before the child. Apparently, he don't agree. No, I Oops. agree. I agree, too. I mean, <laughs> no. at the end of the day, you're not married to your child. Your child is always your child. So it's like y'all yeah. share something different. You know what I'm saying? Because that's your kid. So it's like that child is a part of both of y'all. Yeah. And y'all share something so beautiful where it's like, you know, this is ours together, I guess. But at the end of the day, I wouldn't let my child interfere with our relationship. Okay. Now I got it. Here's how I want to. I'm so sorry, sis. Can I, can I say this real quick? Because now I'm thinking, okay, my thoughts. Here's why a spouse comes before a child. Our job as parents correct me if I'm wrong, is to make sure that child is loved, there's a balance of nurturing and discipline, that they are thriving adults eventually, right, when it gets to that point. However, if there's any kind of, any kind of contention in the home, if we're not on the same page, that child does not thrive, if that makes sense. So that is why, in my mind, this has to come first before the child, because if we ain't right, if we're not together, if we're not on the same page, that child ain't gonna be right. Yeah. That's that's the best way, best way that I could put it. So we have to be intentional about putting her to bed at a certain time so that we can have our time. We have to be intentional about making sure that we are on the same page when it comes to discipline. So she's not all over the place, if that makes sense. So this gotta be intact in order for that child to thrive. Yeah. And I wanna say, don't get it twisted. <laughs> Our spouse comes first, like in essence, like when I made my made dinner, whose plate did I make first? No. Oh no, we made trade. Right, I'm like, what do you, you see? You mess. I'm about to say because I don't make tacos. No, no, <laughs> <laughs> no, but this is what I'm trying to say. Don't get it twisted with I'm gonna make sure my husband eat first before my child eat. Let's, right. Let's, let's back that up. My, right. I make sure we're gonna make sure our child is good first before either one of us eats. Right. right. Um. I'll, however, I'm going to feed him next. And I feed myself last. That's just me. Like if I'm cooking, right? And vice versa. Like, so yesterday he cooked. He made sure Trey had his plate first, then me, and then he ate, right? But right. Um, the thing is, if the child becomes to become first and you're wrapped up in your child mm -hmm. and you don't pay any attention to your spouse, you have then put them in the place of your spouse or significant other. And we see that specifically mm -hmm. in the black family with their mother between the relationship between the mother and the son and sometimes the, mm -hmm. the son like a little boyfriend or a second boyfriend and not their son and so um mm -hmm. i think that's just really important that you don't get caught up and lost in your children because you so focused on raising the children, you forgetting it about your spouse. And then 20 years later, when you're an empty nester, you have no clue who's even standing in front of you because you've been so invested and 100% invested in your children and their development and not the development of who you got in this with, who you started the family with. Because at the end of the day, my kids, my I mean, my kids, my kid, <laughs> he is going to, get grown and leave this house i still want this to be intact you know hello okay 
Yeah. We be traveling and stuff, okay? Or they get too wrapped up in themselves and, and raising their children, they forget themselves too. Yeah. And who they are. Sounds very good. Point. Um, you make a good point, Rebecca. Like when you were talking about the marriage. So a lot of times you kind of see the uh, mother treating their, you know, son in a different type of way than, you know, a lot of us women would want to. But then again, what pops in my mind is like being a single mother. Sometimes, you know, people aren't married and they are single or they choose to be a single mother. Um, so with that, I think that is like a special and extra task for those mothers to have that mindset. This is my child. I don't want to cripple them. I want them to be flourishing. I want them to have healthy relationships. I want them to know boundaries and a balance. And I think that can be a tough role, especially if it's just you and that child for so long and going back to both women or girl and boy children, if it's just them, them two for so long, I'm, I know that can be hard, but I'm just guessing that's a mindset that is going to have to be kind of understood and played out in your mind kind of consistently. Yeah. And you know, honestly, I think it's diff. It may be different in the blended family. I don't have that experience. So if let's say if I would have had a child before I met Terry, it got to be a good fit with my child and Terry. Like, I'm not going to put in harm's way on that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I think that is a different conversation and a different dynamic because in this relationship and in everybody's relationship, the relationship came first and then the children, not necessarily the opposite. So I think that's mm -hmm. a different conversation than what we're talking about, just to clarify to the audience. For sure. That's good stuff. Yeah. All right, baby. Get out of here. Take it to the promised land. Run the towel dry. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we came to the end of the time. Time for us to wrap this up. And uh, we want y'all to stay tuned for more videos. We got more videos, more things to come. Make sure y'all like, share. I'm not just saying this oh, to say it. I want y'all to actually like. Click the like button. Click the share <laughs> button. <laughs> Comment and share, right? I don't, we don't care if it's good or bad, because we got to read it anyway. So <laughs> <laughs> make sure y'all do that, and uh, we'll do what we always need to do, which is TMP. Hold, Hold it down. Hold it down. See y'all. Anything, Anything I can provide for you. I go right to the sky and bring it back to you. I want to live, I want to die with you. Say the word and watch how all your dreams come true Just know I got your back